Uh, in this video, I want to show you how to find the derivative of this rational function here using our definition. And I just want you to note that we could have asked this question in a few ways. One is find the derivative of f of x equals 1 over x plus 6, as is written. But I also could have said, given f, f of x equals 1 over x plus 6, could have just said find f prime of x. Same thing. So let's do that here. Um, the most important thing is that really this kind of just tests your uh, your ability to simplify rational expressions. So it's it's almost more of an algebra process than anything else. So um, just keep that in mind. Some people get scared of calculus because they think that that they find this not appealing, and that's understandable. Um, if you're not good at doing this, doesn't mean you're not good at calculus necessarily. Um, although I would say you, you should be able to handle the, uh, at least the basic type of problems that uh, have to do with using the definition of the derivative, which I'm copying down right here. So, definition f prime of x is the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h and in our problem f of x plus h means wherever I see an x in my function I'm going to replace it with an x plus h so f of x plus h is going to be 1 over not x plus 6 1 over x plus h plus 6 and then I'm going to minus f of x which is 1 over x plus 6 and all that is being divided by h so at this point we have to just again note you can't plug in 0 for h and you never will be able to using this definition so we need that h to cancel and getting that h to cancel, cancel amounts to simplifying the numerator here uh, so that in its simplified form that h will be able to cancel so I'm, I'm gonna so I don't have to keep writing the word limit I'm just gonna focus on simplifying what I just circled in red there uh, now in order to add that add those two expressions in the numerator which is really the only thing I can do right now right in terms of an active step in solving this problem um, I need to find a common denominator so my common denominator needs to have an x plus h plus 6 and also an x plus 6 okay so the so this denominator is missing an x plus 6 so I'd multiply the top and the bottom of that by x plus 6 and this denominator is missing an x plus h plus 6 So I multiply the top and the bottom by that. And so this becomes uh, my numerator now is gonna have an, is gonna have a denominator of x plus h plus six times x plus six. There's my common denominator. And then my numerator is x plus six times one minus and then one times x plus h plus six be very careful make sure you put that x plus h plus 6 in parentheses right this this minus here is going to uh, have to distribute to each of those terms now again that's all over that's all over h and now if you distribute you get you get uh, x plus 6 minus x minus h minus 6 divided by x plus h plus 6 times x plus 6 and this is where instead of dividing by h I want to write this as 1 over, times 1 over h right so like dividing by h 
or h over 1 is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. You know, dividing by 2 is the same as timesing by 1 half. I do this because it makes it clear to me uh, how the h is going to cancel. But first, notice that an x and a minus x is 0, a 6 and a minus 6 is 0. And now that all I have left is a negative h on top, which is good because h divided by h is 1. And so I'm really just left with, don't forget this negative here, that's it's going to force there to be a negative 1 in the numerator there. And so now let's bring back this limit. So now I have the limit as h goes to 0 of negative 1 is all that's left at the top x plus h plus 6 times x plus 6 and now since that h has been cancelled I can plug in 0 for whatever h's are left which is just that one so this is negative 1 over x plus 0 plus 6 which is just x plus 6 times x plus 6 although we more often will write it simply as negative 1 over x plus 6 squared. All right. So there's just an example of how to find the derivative of a rational function using the definition of the derivative. And um, I think the key thing to keep in mind is that this is, I mean, the technique that we have to use in dealing with these type of problems is getting the common denominator, all there, all that stuff is sort of just algebra stuff. So um, I would just make sure you're good at uh, doing the algebra.